what is execution timeouts in SQL Server Management Studio. Welcome back to another episode of SQL in a 60 seconds. Today, let's talk about execution timeouts in SQL Server Management Studio and why you might want to adjust them. By default, SQL Server Management Studio has an execution timeout value set to zero. This means queries are allowed to run indefinitely regardless of how long they take. While this is generally fine, there are scenarios where you might want to limit the execution time of queries. For example, for testing queries, when experimenting or troubleshooting, you may not want to queries to run longer than necessary. The next one is production systems. On live environment, allowing queries to run indefinitely can create performance bottlenecks or it may block other important processes. Preventing developer mistakes. During testing, developers might accidentally write queries that run longer than intended. In all this situation, you may find this particular execution timeout very helpful. To set a specific timeout, go to the connection properties of SQL Server Management Studio as shown over here. You can enter a value in seconds to define how long queries are allowed to run before they are terminated. This setting is especially useful when testing queries or protecting production system from unexpected behavior. Let me show you an example. Over here, I have used wait for delay command to deliberately simulate a long running query. By default, it would run until complete. However, I set a timeout in the connection properties, which is much lesser than this. As expected, SQL Server stops the query and displays an error message when the timeout is reached. Remember, while setting a timeout is a good safeguard, it is always better to optimize your queries and ensure they are efficient. Use this setting wisely. If you find this helpful, like this video and subscribe for more SQL Server tips. Until next time, keep optimizing your SQL.